Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming and we're back in RPG Maker MV for another tutorial. This is a special request tutorial for, uh, from uh, a comment I had on one of my videos from Randy Shelton and he says, I've been really enjoying your vids. I was wondering if you could help me with something else I'm having a little issue setting up. Is it possible to create an item and or spell that allows you to teleport back to locations you've recently visited similar to the Chimera Wing from the Dragon Quest series? Yeah, you can do that. So um, the first thing you're going to want to do is get a couple plugins, and I'll show you where to get them. You go to himeworks.com slash mv dash plugins. You're going to need large choices and disabled choice conditions. So all you really have to do is go to the plugins thing, right click this, save as, put that in your JS plugins folder. You don't know where that's at. You go to your, your game in MV and go to open folder and you'll see your JS folder right there and there's your plugins inside there. So copy that file and save it, uh, or save that file as rather into this folder and then go to your uh, puzzle piece and add those two plugins. Disable choice, large choices. <clears throat> so to do that you just double click, find them, click on them and make sure that they're activated. Um, the next thing you're going to want to do is set up your common event. So this is the bulk of the, the thing but it's uh, it looks like a lot because I have nine different locations but if you just have a few locations it'll be a lot easier to do. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up our switches and we're going to disable the switches we don't want until they've been there. So the first thing we'll do we'll just click on a free space and edit new and then we're going to go to control switches and you're going to find like a block of switches you can even change maximum if you need to and uh, keep like a set of 20 or however many locations you're going to have so that they're all right next to each other it'll make it easier uh, and then name it like chimera or chimera location uh, colon and then the name so um, I've set up a few switches here for all the locations so once they visit the location a parallel process event will be playing and then it'll erase a, uh, it'll also erase event and uh, it'll turn on a switch so I'll show you how to do that right after this so you set up all of these for town one temple one crafting area dungeon towns arenas castles whatever locations each location is going to require its own switch once you set up all of those you might want to write them down for later on um, it'll help you remember what switch you use for what location so you don't really need to do anything with that, but you need to go to there to set up the switches. And then you're going to go to each map that um, you want to um, have a location be stored to, and you're going to right click and you're going to uh, insert new, and you're going to change the trigger to parallel process, and you're going to right click. Here's where you control switches and actually set the switch. So for this one, you're going to control the switch for um, the town one, since this would be town one. Uh, and then you just have that OK and then you erase event so you just right click insert new go to page 2 and under character you erase event so parallel process turn on a switch erase event that's all you really need to do and then you can copy this and go to the next place you know your second town paste that event down edit this one and only thing you have to change now is the switch you're using now instead of town 1 you're using town 2 and you're going to do that for each location, that uh, each map that you want to be able to teleport to. So they won't be able to teleport to that map until they've been to that map. Now that that's done, we're going to need to um, go back to our common events, and we're going to have to insert a script. So you're going to right-click on a free space, insert new, go all the way to the page 3, and go to script. And in the script, you're going to use this code. For each... Um, for each uh, selection, you're going to actually, before you know which ones to use, um, we'll go and, and add uh, a text saying that, okay, select your destination. And then you're going to show choices underneath that. Right click, insert, show new choices. And then you're going to select each location that you want uh, that you want to be able to teleport to. Um, the background doesn't matter, it's up to you. Window position doesn't matter, it's up to you. Uh, if you're going to have more than six choices, then you're going to set default to none and, and cancel disallow. If you're going to have less than six, then you can have your cancel on the sixth one that says none um, and default on the one that says none as well. Uh, I've, sh I've showed you how to make it so that you can have as many as you want, so that's why it's kind of long. I've got two. So with this uh, show choices plugin that we've installed, how it works is you just insert show choices 
and then right directly underneath that you put another right click insert new sh uh, show new choices and it'll just combine these together so instead of showing two different menus it'll show one menu with up and down arrows that lets you pick from um, you're gonna wanna put select uh, you're gonna have to put one that says none so you're gonna set your default to the one that says none whether you have a few or a lot the last option or the first option will be none set the default choice to the one that you have none and the cancel also to the one that you have none and uh, you want to uh, on the option that says none change items and add uh, the, the Chimera wing back. But before we can add that item back, we need to go to items. We're going to add a new item. Change maximum if you have to. Insert a new item. Call it whatever you like. Chimera wing. Give it a graphic. Let the player know what it's going to do. Uh, call it a regular item. Uh, consumable, I would think so. Price is up to you. Scope, it doesn't need any. Occasion, I wouldn't let people use it in the, the battle screen. I don't even know if it would work. I would just go to menu screen. Uh, Certain hit, doesn't need any damage, doesn't need any animation because we're going to play an animation when we call on a common event. So right here under effects we're going to edit, go to other, go to common event and we're going to call on that common event that we're currently making. So as long as it's calling that. Now if you want this to be a skill, all you would do is go to skill, change action if you have to, add a new skill, call it Camera Rings, do the same thing, put it on whatever skill type you want it to be in, give it whatever cost you like. The scope will still be none, occasion, battle screen. Um, certain hit you can say cast or whatever you want doesn't need any damage but it's going to do exactly the same thing it's going to right it's going to call on a common event right click go to other common event it's right there let's go back to that common event so we've got um, our show choices now and when we have none we're going to add an item to chimera wings now if you're using a skill you won't need to use the add item on none it'll just uh, you can maybe restore MP if you want or have it not it's up to you so you're going to select your location. So um, for this first one, I said Town 1, Temple 1, Craft Center, blah, 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 all the way down. On the, the second one, we're going to set our default and cancel to none. Uh, and now underneath the first option, we're going to show an animation on all of them. Uh, it's up to you if you want this or not. You pick whatever animation you want. Then basically, you're just going to do a transfer player. So when you go to Town 1, you're going to edit, insert new, uh, page 2 transfer player and then you're going to specify where you want that to be so this will be town 1 I want it to be teleported right there and then you can basically copy this paste it into the next one and then edit the transfer so that instead of uh, town 1 now you go to the temple look at that amazing temple and then you do the same thing for every one of these once you have set that up um, you're going to have to remember or write, that's why I said write down all the switch numbers, which switch goes to what location. So if you named them appropriately, then this shouldn't be too hard. So we'll see that number 85 on the switches is town 2. So right here you see uh, we're using 85, that's going to be town 2. So we need to go back to our common event and on the scripting, we uh, the scripting thing we put in, we're going to put disable choice, disable underscore choice, uh, parenthesis um, one that's the first choice this is saying we're going to disable the first choice if the variable 81 is zero is false so basically you can just copy this it's also in the help file if you if you're not sure what all this is if this each one of these lines is just graying out one choice until the switch is turned on and the switch is turned on as soon as they enter the map and the parallel process runs turns on the switch and then they can teleport there because they've been there um, so basically it's just this code right here I'm giving a little bit of extra time so you can kinda copy it down or access the help file for me it's uh, switch 81 through 89 but it'll be whatever switches uh, these numbers will change depending on what switches uh, what the place you put your switches so we're disabling all of the options until we've been able to to go there and now we'll test it out. Oh, we need to award our, our items somehow. So let's say we'll go to um, actually I, I'm already on the starting map so I made a treasure chest and I put uh, some Chimera wings in the treasure chest. Now we've got some Chimera wings and if we access these Chimera wings, it's going to play uh, didn't play the graphic. I need to figure out why that. Oh, because it'll play the graphic when you use se select the location. You see how it's combining this the first six and the second three choices together into one menu. That's what the first plugin does. 
And the second plugin is graying out all of these. See, I'm trying to access, but it's not working because they're disabled until we go to those locations. So say the town was right over here. We'd go inside the town, and then it would turn on a switch. And for the sake of time, I know that there's switch 80. I can use the debug mode and say town 1. So we we went inside town, and the, the, the script uh, auto parallel process turned on the switch. And now we're going to access the Camaro wings. And we have town 1 open. So we can teleport to town 1. Cool. When we get to town uh, town 2, the same thing will happen. That will be 85. Camaro wings. Now it's showing only town 1 and town 2. It will take us to town 2. Now just to show you that this parallel process thing will work, I'm going to go into, uh, say, the blacksmith house and set our starting point here. And uh, this is connected to town one. So when we, uh, oh, I will need some Camaro wings, won't I? So let's go ahead and cut paste that treasure chest to the blacksmith shop and put that right here. Save that. This is actually town three that we're going to be going into. So items, Camaro wings, we try to use it from here. We have no options because we haven't uh, turned on any switches yet. But when we go in here, this is town three. So we're going to be able to, uh, the parallel process is actually like right here somewhere. But it's hidden and uh, it's already been erased. It just turned on a switch and disappeared. Uh, now we should be able to teleport to town three because we've uh, activated that parallel process. There we go. So it seems a little complicated with all of these uh, with all these scripts, but it's really easy. You're basically writing it out one time, copy pasting and changing the number to two, and then to the switch for the second place, three, and the switch for the third place. The numbers right here and the uh, right after the sh disable choice, that's saying which choice uh, are we disabling? Uh, so this first one right here, disable choice one, would be town one. It's going to gray that out unless switch 81 is turned on. And if we go to uh, our switches, we'll look at switch 81, and we'll say that see that switch 81 is town one. And as long as you line them all up and you use the right switches, um, shouldn't be any problems. Just name your stuff so that it's easy to remember uh, what switch goes to what location. Hopefully that helps you, uh, Randy Shelton. Um, also check out some of the other plugins from HemiWorks.com. Some pretty good stuff. I like the weather, the battle weather one. But uh, I'll let you guys go. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions for uh, content, just leave a comment below. I'll get back to you. Um, you guys are awesome. Thank you for watching. Thank you for asking these questions. And we'll see you in the next tutorial.